Okay, so now we're gonna do the Sudoku solver function and as you can see it only takes one particular uh, argument and that is the board, the entire board which is a bi-dimensional array. Um, initializing, um, not that not too, uh, a lot of things, uh, you have i, comma, i and j uh, which are initialized to 0, 0, you'll see why they are initialized to 0, 0 in the, in the coming uh, lines. Uh, possibilities uh, dictionary which is um, just a data structure which I returned from here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to return that over there so I'm going to tell you what's happening exactly. So don't, don't worry about this. But, but what you have to worry about is what you do initially. So this is uh, the base case and as you saw in the previous uh, tutorial um, you saw that isful is a function which we declared initially and that is uh, why we declared it that is our base case. Whenever you have a recursive function you always have a base case. So this is our base case. If it is full, it means that you have got the right answer and then you can print the board and return, which is basically exiting the function, exiting the entire program and you print it on the screen. So is full board and if it is full, it is true, it is full, it returns a true value and then you can print the board and you know, everything. Else if it is not full, you realize that okay, it's not full and you need to fill it up. So yeah, this is what you do. You find the first vacant spot. Now, how do you find the first vacant spot? Obviously, you go from x in range of 0, 0,9, y in range of 0, 0,9, and you go, okay, if board of x, y is equal to equal to 0, well, yeah, if it is 0, then it has to be vacant, right? And, yeah, you give the values to i and j. Remember, i and j, x equal to i, y equal to j. So, right now, i and j hold the values of the vacant spots, and then you break out of the loop. Don't uh, don't worry about this over here. This is because you know Python uses some weird break it, breaking syntax. So you know if you are any in any other language like C or Java, you just have to use this one break um, you know keyword, not all this. So yeah, now you get all the possibilities for the i comma j. Now remember the possibilities function which we used. Yeah, that's it. Possibilities is equal to possible entries board i and j and um, yeah you get and and we realize that okay we get the possible entries from this particular function and that is stored in this which is a list which is the dictionary basically but it's a list and you know the essence of it and then this is the most important part of this entire program because this controls your recursive calling okay so here you go for x in range of 1 comma 10 remember possibilities we we you know listed them from one to uh, nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and you didn't start from zero you started from one so that's why I'm starting from one over here because possibilities start from one if not possibilities you read this like this if possibilities of x is not equal to equal to zero which means that uh, if you see the printf if if you print out the possibilities list you will see that uh, the possibilities have values zero zero uh, five zero zero four six and, and values like that. So if possibilities of x is not equal to zero, which means that that is a possible value, you say board of i comma j is equal to that particular value. It could be five, it could be four, it could be six, it could be whatever. And then you fill the board. And then you call the Sudoku solver again with that particular board. Now you, you fill the board over here and then you call the board again. Now what happens when you call the board again? What happens is the whole thing is called again and these values are generated again and the board is checked if it is full again and this the next vacant spot is found and if you could think about it in in a different sense in in a loop sort of sense you can imagine one value being filled if you can go back to the uh, PPTs you can see um, one value to be filled then uh, after this value is filled you call the Sudoku thing again Sudoku function again then this value will be filled then this value will be filled and then this value will be filled and so on and so forth all the values will be filled but there will come a position okay there will come a point there will come a point when you will realize that the value which you filled in was not the right value and in that case you will run out of possibilities because the the program will say hey I don't have any more possibilities to give you because that value the values which you filled inside the board they were not correct they were wrong and in that case you need to backtrack and what is the backtracking step you find this is the backtracking step so this board I comma J resets the the spot to zero you get what I'm saying right it resets that particular spot back to zero so that it will help you backtrack now if you know about uh, recursive programs then you would understand that once you call a recursive program 
these this particular uh, part of the program remains in the stack it remains in the function stack and it and it has the right to be executed so once you call this and you return a value over here and you think oh my god I don't have any other possibilities and you cannot call the board again so you break out of this loop and you go back and say I comma j0 I comma j0 I comma j0 until you get back to a position in which you have more possibilities to fill in uh, for an example I can say over here suppose you have this over here uh, you, you fill suppose four over here you fill one over here and you then you realize that oh my god I don't have any other possibilities to put over here so you go back this turns again to zero this turns again to zero and you put five over here and then the same process tries again so what you can understand from this is this is basically a trial and error method to fill in the Sudoku puzzle and I strongly encourage you if you really want to know how this particular thing works then try this recursive process again and again and again write it down on a piece of paper solve it by heart um, you know by physical methods which is a pen and a paper and not with your notepad and yeah that's how you would actually find what is happening also this is the code the code is in the description and uh, I also wanted to show you the main function that's it I mean this is the entire program It's not very difficult so yeah so the, in the main Sudoku you have a Sudoku board which ranges from 0 to 9 and this is basically the 9 by 9 matrix and these, these are the initializations which I did for every particular uh, spot and you can change them if you want with a random Sudoku puzzle and I swear I will solve it um, and yeah and here you print the Sudoku board and here you uh, call the Sudoku board for the first time and yeah this is the caller of the main function and if you run this you can see that it works yeah so this is our board which we we initialize and the board successfully solved over here so yeah um, if you didn't understand uh, the, 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 the Sudoku solver function watch this tutorial again and yeah so thanks for watching guys see you later and like share and subscribe if you enjoyed it